Welcome to Just the Tip Tutorials. I'm your host, Kill Paris, and here's the tip. Today we're talking about return channels, how to use them to make your mixes sound better, more full, um, and maybe just some workflow tips with return channels um, on how to lower CPU. So I'm gonna play this little beat that I have and then show you how uh, my return channels are working. <music> So you can see all my return channels have signal going to them. Um, and the way that we're doing that is with sends, actually. So first off, if you're not seeing your return channels, it's this little R button down here. Um, and then to send to them, we use our sends right here. And this correlates to A, send goes to the return channel, <coughs> A and so forth. Um, so if you're not seeing your sends, same thing, press the yes button. So let's look at this first return channel. Um, I should note on all of these return channels, I have an auto filter cutting out all the low end as well as a side chain compressor that is side chaining to my dummy side chain, which there's a totally different tutorial on how to use dummy side chaining um, and how to make side chain a lot easier on yourself. So with that being said, on this first return channel, I have the oh so sexy Lexicon 224 digital reverb. Uh, this thing is freaking amazing. Um, and I just use this to kind of add some space. Um, to my mixes and I right now I'm sending the pads as well as uh, all my lead parts to this so let's solo it and then listen to it in and out of the mix So it's a very subtle effect, but this really gives me um, just a little bit more space in my mix. And, you know, I could bring the decay up more if I wanted to. Um, there's all kinds of cool stuff that you can do with this. But um, I love using this reverb. This is, it's a staple in all of my sessions. Um, just, to give, just to give me some more space and give me that kind of, uh, kind of digital reverb vibe. I mean, this Lexicon sounds amazing. Absolutely amazing. So... Next return channel, again, we got the auto filter cutting out the low, and then we got the uh, sidechain compressor. I'm using another really sexy plug-in, this uh, Fatso Jr. Again, by UAD, all the stuff I'm going to be showing you is UAD because they make the best stuff. So uh, this is kind of, uh, it's, it's, it's a warmth generator is what I would call it. Uh, really just brings um, the warmth of the mid and the high range um, of whatever you send to it um, out. So I have the input brought up a little bit, outputs at five and then I have the warmth turned up. So let's solo it and listen to it in the mix. Yeah, yeah. So you can see that this really brings out that mid and high range without it sounding like I'm just putting an EQ on everything. Um, and this, again, is another staple in all my sessions because it really brings out the warmth in the track without, without it sounding too frail and without it sounding uh, too digital. Um, and, you know, if you don't have the Fatso Jr., I think in Ableton you might be able to get a similar effect with, like, the Saturator kind of doing the same thing. But really the Fatso is just... I mean, it's just amazing. It just sounds great. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, and again, this, I mean, I use this in every single session, and it really, really helps out. On the next return channel, kind of a uh, copy of the first return channel, um, I have the EMT 250, another amazing, amazing reverb. Um, everything's cranked up. It's on reverb mode. On top of that, I have the MXR uh, flanger. And on this session, I think I'm just sending, like, the leads to this. So let's solo it and do all that. So you can see that adds a lot, a lot of space um, and some real depth uh, to my mix. So another really good thing about these uh, return channels is that since I want a reverb on basically, I mean, a lot like my entire lead group and uh, my entire pad group, instead of taking this EMT 250, which is a bit of a CPU hog, and throwing it on every single track, I can just put it on a return track, send whatever to it, and then I have more control 
over it and then adding more effects. So that's a, that's a great way to save on CPU because you can just be using one of the plugins instead of putting a bunch of them everywhere. So I hope that this helps you. I mean, again, return channels, you can throw anything on them and get really creative with effects, um, you know, delays, all that. Um, so I hope that this is useful. I hope this is educational for you guys. This has been Just a Tip Tutorials. I'm Kill Paris. See you.